He keeps trying to constantly seize Frank and tries to get his attention. Um, I'm so parched. Aaron, would you please fetch me some hot? Would you like some champagne? Oh, I've never had any. Why not? My goodness, I think I see an old friend. Would you excuse me, Major? I had hoped you should use my quarters. Not tonight. Friend fellow walks towards Constance at the food table. Miss Armstrong, I'm Sam in Austin. Orange, I wanted to let you know that Amanda and the boys are fine. Why don't we, um, oh, oh yes, that's good news. Yes, why don't we go out of our noses? He leads her out the door around the corner of the building away from the crowd. They stop in the frigid air. Frank, is it really you? Don't you think I'm beautiful? You're the most gorgeous creature I've ever seen. But how I mourn for you. But I never gave up hope. Aaron thinks he shot you in the river. He's been overwhelmed with guilt. It was him. Your Yankee is a lousy shot. Frank, you're incredible. Two soldiers walk within earshot and they remain quiet. Put up close so we don't freeze to death. Now tell me about your Aaron. Well, he risked his life to save me, Frank. The truth is, he's captured me before. But I'm still loyal to our cause. I'm sick of watching these impudent Yankees parade in their splendor. Don't be discouraged. Our men are prepared to defend our land with their lives. Not only that, the Copperheads grow stronger, and opposition to Lincoln is mounted. You give me hope. How can I help? It's imperative that we know their intent. Have you heard about Grant taking command? No, but Kilpatrick hints that he will soon lead a grand action. And Colonel Oliver Dahlgren is here, probably to join him. Sounds like a raid. If you learn details, you must give the information to me. But how? High message at the dump. You mean we're the latest children? Yes. Hang a white cloth, and my men will see the signal from across the river. Suffice it to say, I will do it willingly. Do you have a pencil? I want to thank our hostess. What's it say? I had a great time. John Mosby. <laughs> How do you live my spirits? Constance re-enters the ball and Ames hands her a glass of champagne. Mmm, I love the bubbly. And I'm ecstatic that I've met another southern lady, an old friend from Orange. She reports that Amanda and the boys are well. Well, so let's celebrate. Across the room, Stringfellow gorges at the food table. The lieutenant from the picket stalks up to him. Madam, allow me to escort you. But that's most thoughtful of you, Lieutenant. You see, my escort never arrived, and I was about to return home. The Lieutenant takes Stringfellow's arm dorsally, guides him towards the door, and out of earshot of others near the bushes. You know as well as I do why he didn't come. He's probably in prison. I don't know what your game is, lady, but you're in trouble. I checked up on your captain, discovered he'd been missing for a week. How do you explain that? Uh, I'm shocked! <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that he brought me the pass and promised to meet me. I don't know what happened, unless one of our men captured him on his return. I pray that's not the case. I don't buy that story, lady. I think you had him bushwhacked in your ass by! If you think I'm a spy, why didn't you have me arrested at the ball? Ah, uh, well, that is... I'll tell you why. Because you, sir, are a gentleman. You don't think I'm a spy. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your trust. I'll make it up to you. Now, you, han you handsome man, if you'll just turn around and close your eyes for a moment, I'll show you how very much I appreciate your kindness. Oh. 
I'm ready. But I thought, in this cold weather, young man, shame on you. I hate to disappoint you, sir. <laughs> but I'm a scout from Jeff, from Jeff Stewart, and you're my prisoner. Now, if you'll make one false move, I will kill you instantly. What is this, man? Have you lost your mind? Oh, no, madam. <laughs> But I can prove it to you at this moment. <laughs> now, I'm going to walk to my buggy, get in, and head for the river. And at the picket post, you will say that you are seeing me home safely. If you say one wrong thing, I will kill you instantly. Even if that means I die too. <laughs> you can imagine the laughter when Frank arrived at our picket post in his gown with a stunned prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> 